Today, Victoria is having a consultation with Professor Michael O'Keefe, who explained how her vision could be corrected. We use to cover a number of operations or procedures that we can now perform on the eye to change the shape and to uh, eliminate or reduce the uh, people's uh, uh, dependence on glasses or contact lenses. What type of vision problems are treated at the clinic? We mainly deal with short-sightedness, but we can also deal with astigmatism or irregularity of the eye. We can deal with long-sightedness, but not as well as we can with short-sightedness. What actually happens during the laser operation? In the laser operation in particular, there, there are a number of things. What happens in, in effect is that we flatten the center of the eye. We change the shape of the cornea by removing tissue. That's how laser works. In the LASIK or the flap operation, which is the, the, the commonest operation that is done in the world today, oh, the recovery period is very fast. That's why it's such a popular operation. The visual rehabilitation is, is almost within 24 hours, and it's usually a painless operation. So it's, to some extent, one of these magic procedures in medicine that we do, and this is why it's become so popular. The procedure takes a mere few minutes to repair poor vision. But are there complications? Anybody going for these operations should be well aware that these procedures can have adverse outcomes and may not get the, attain the vision they want. Or they may indeed end up with significant complications which could result in loss of vision. Professor O'Keefe lasers the eyes on separate occasions. He explained why. I treat both eyes separately because of the risks involved. Uh, I, even though the risks are low, but if, if, for example, if someone ended up and you did both eyes and they got infection in both eyes, potentially they could go blind. Whereas if you'd only do one eye, at least you've, one eye is still satisfactory and okay. What happens after the surgery? People, people must be aware. This is an operation, it's real surgery. It has got significant complications attached to it. In a, in a, in a, they may be, the risk is low, but it's not zero. And uh, it is being sold at the moment as if this was something you went in and had your hair cut, or, and it's nothing like that. This is real surgery with real potential risks attached to it, and my advice to anybody having this surgery done is to make sure they have properly assessed beforehand, they know all the risks and benefits, and more particularly, they know the surgeon is doing the operation, and they have proper follow-up. In the clinic, we follow people for a year, and sometimes longer, and that's the most important part of this operation. But people are having it done, and there's no proper follow-up afterwards. And I think that's a bad thing, and it'll give the operation a bad name. And it's not good for either patients or doctors. Join us tomorrow to see Victoria undergo laser eye surgery to correct her short-sightedness. For more information on the procedure, contact the Matter Private Eye Clinic by telephone or email.